Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with the second show of the day. Uh, we did a show just earlier on Jamal Charles' sensational victory um, over a, a rugged uh, Matiel. And now we're going to come back, in a way, in his claim uh, for pound for pound status. Uh, but before we get into that, please like and subscribe, share in all forms of social media. Uh, hit, hit the bell icon, smash the thumbs up, all that good stuff. Um, Please also subscribe to our brand new channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Texas Boxing Scene, dedicated to all things Texas boxing. Uh, like, subscribe. Uh, please share that channel. It's completely dedicated. And all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right. Let's get into it. Now what, in a way, makes his claim for pound for pound best in the sport. Look, I know this is a discussion that is... Not really a favor of many people, we'll say, but um, this was a good uh, it, uh, in a way, he's making his claim. If he becomes undisputed at 118, it's going to be hard to dethrone Canelo. And I always say you can't lose that if you keep winning. Well, I, I had Floyd as my power pound guy here, I had Ward, Ward retired, then I had Crawford. But then Canelo went up two weight classes and beat Kovalev and then Don. So it's Canelo now. I want, you know, is the pound for pound king. Can in a way do anything to capture that spot? Because these are impressive performances. Um, Das Marinas is a rugged opponent, a, a, a legitimate contender, a legitimate opponent, and then in a way, Blows him out, blows him away, drops him three times in three rounds, and absolutely destroys him. Body shots. I mean, he's the perfect offensive fighter. He really is. Now, defensively, he's good. He's fine. He's not sensational. He can be hit. He can be had. But you got to be willing to walk through hell um, and, and, and risk getting knocked out like Donaire did. To get to him. Um, uh, fighting him reminds me of pitching a Barry Bonds in his prime, where like he had a cold zone, right? It was like up, it was it was like middle of the plate and in, but if you missed in either direction, he hit out of the ballpark. That's kind of the way it is, like to fight in a way. Like you can get to him, but you gotta risk getting knocked out to do it. And if you miss by an inch, it's you know, it's over. His power is explosive. He's he's a premier body puncher. He's one of the best body punchers in the sport. It, you don't think of him as a body puncher, but this is not the first time he's done this with with, with body shots. He's a tremendous body puncher. He nearly stopped an air with a body shot. And, and I want to give credit to Josh Marinas for getting up after that second body shot knockout. It looked like it was over. A new way, like a cerebral assassin, went back downstairs, went straight to the body, got him out over quickly. Um, that is an A-plus performance. I gave Charlo an A-minus before. I give him an A-plus. I give Inouye an A-plus for this performance. Um, you know, I, I don't know where Denaro goes next. Um, I mean, I don't know where Inouye goes next. Denaro is fighting Casimore. Perhaps the winner of that. I want to see the Rigo fight. I'm hoping that can get made. I know promotional issues. It doesn't seem likely. Those two sides don't work together. To work together for a 118 fight, that's not going to make, you know, $100 million seems unlikely. That's the fight I really want to see. We're probably not going to get it because this is boxing. Why would we get it? But right now, 118. Yo, can they make, um, in a way, versus Josh Franklin. Josh Franklin. You know, I'm trying to think of the top-ranked names. There are so many good fighters at 118. But 
What's top rank willing to make? What are they willing to spend on? I don't know. Um, but this was good. This was a really, really good performance from Inouye. Uh, he, he makes his claim. I, I, I can't get him higher than number two on my power pound list, but I also can't put him lower than number two. It's Canelo one, Inouye two, and then we can have a debate in my in, in my opinion. Um, he's been doing this a while now. Uh, a lot of folks don't pay attention to the smaller weight classes. I, I get that. And he's got an impressive resume going back a while. Like you go through his resume, he's got Jason Maloney, Donito Zanair, Emmanuel Rodriguez, Piano, Jim McDonald, Antonio Nieves, um, Ohi Cano. Resume is good. And El Monavares, he's got eight, nine quality wins now going back to uh, he's got a win over Zagachi. I mean, he's got good wins. Going back to 2014, he's got about nine good wins. Zagachi, you know, it's a quality name. He's making it. He, I mean, it's you can't really not put him at number two at this point. I mean, he, he's he's earned that. He's number two. Canelo's one uh, in a way is two. Where he's going from here, probably a rematch with Donaire it, it is possible. Um, the ring it down fight is, is, is something I would love. It doesn't seem likely though. Um, you go through. Some of the names at 118. Khalid Yafai. You know, the rest of the names, she's kind of beating the big names. Lee McGregor. Is that something you guys want to see? Uh, you know, Stonair, Rigo, and, and, and Donaire is probably Casemiro. Obali, who just lost. And Yafai. You know, like those are the names. Um, you got Donaire, Rigo, Casemiro, other major names. He's gonna fight one of those guys. Who it is, I, I don't know. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, are you in agreement that this is not an A performance? This is an A plus performance from in a way. Uh, absolutely perfect. Now, nothing you can criticize in this performance. Um, and who do you think he fights next? And who do you want to see him fight next? Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, share, three boxing. Uh, please subscribe to our new channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is June 20th, 2021. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3 Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.